Hello everyone, welcome back to Lunium, my name is Lunium, and welcome to V2V Reaction Day. We just went through Marine's uh, music video, so this time we're going to go with a little compilation. About 12 minutes of internet breaking Halloween, because as we all know, the internet is a savage place that breaks the minds of every single individual who ever steps foot into it, depending on where you go on the internet. But regardless, no matter what, even if it's social media, wherever you are, you'll find something that will break your mind on the internet and make you, uh, kind of, like, you know question why is this a, a thing why does this exist sorry that was a messenger thing so it'll be very um interesting to see what this compilation uh, comprises of this is a compilation by tomo clips they are very close to 22k definitely give tomo clips a subscription like the video and definitely check out their channel to support them uh so yeah this should be a lot of fun so let us begin Alrighty, yo hi Rana mama quick question what's your favorite number I'm planning to buy a jersey with your jersey. What is a jersey? She's talk he's talking about the state. He wants to buy a state called New Jersey. I interesting. Uh you would think that uh well unless you're a sports fan, maybe you might know maybe you, you know you would know what a jersey is, but I don't know. I feel like everybody would know what a jersey is. It's like it's like an article of clothing, you know. With your name and favorite number on any four fancies. Mmm. Mmm. Six. I didn't mean to pause that. My finger just slipped. <laughs> nice. Sixty nine. Huh? <laughs> I loved the Elden Ring DLC so much that I went and I purchased the uh, the, the special or tree edition or whatever it is and I'm gonna gift the game to someone but I wanted that Mesmer statue 18 inches of Mesmer Ooh, don't say it. 18 inches of Mesmer baby hell yeah Woo! that is not uh, appropriate Callie god damn it Ooh, yucky Ooh, don't <laughs> yo why you guys gotta say it like that hey yo the impaler get impaled you you silly dum-dums, get him pissed. Whoa, whoa, first off, first off, 18 inches could just mean the height of the statue. Where is your mind going, Callie? Your mind has been corrupted by the internet, so you cannot blame chat for that. Oh, I feel gross now. That dude is so greasy, but he's so cool. <laughs> Let's play some Dark Souls 1. Um, so that I can, I can fill the aching heart in my whole, in huh? my whole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You see, you cannot blame us for that, Kelly. You cannot blame chat. Yeah, you, you're on the internet way too much. You cannot blame us at all. <laughs> the aching hole in my heart. <laughs> Hey yo! Please! <laughs> we haven't even started the game yet! Cause I'll be honest, there's one place I ate that I was really actually disappointed because it ruined it for me for the whole time. I can't order from there again because it was- Hooters! That's my guess what the restaurant is. Such a traumatizing experience for me. I ordered this food and it was just like, it was just like, a, a beef bowl okay it was a simple easy beef bowl upon opening definitely it, not hooters right on top not even mixed in right on top was a thick black hair it, it would have been one thing if it was it, it was short it was short so it wasn't mine and it was there as soon as i opened it so for me i i, I i'm not usually too like annoyed when i find food or like hair in my food like it, it does kind of gross me out a little bit but usually at, at that point i stop eating but this i had freshly opened it you know i'd freshly opened my beef bowl and there's a piece of hair on top but I, I paid for this right so I pulled the hair out because I was like it's just sitting on top it's fine it's just sitting on top it's fine it's probably just like some oh, short-haired no. grandma's hair you know like it, it was like maybe like four inches long like it, it wasn't too long so but I was like how do you miss that it's right on top how do you go to see seal this because it's it was in the rice portion which was separated from the meat portion so I was like how do you go to seal white rice and not notice the big long black hair that was added it's same with like when i occasionally when i get acne 
once I notice it, I start to feel it and I can feel it festering, you know? So like, I want to die then. And like, I... How do we go for food to act? Like, that... Even then, the combination is freaking gross. Nerissa, Nerissa, what are you doing, Nerissa? Nerissa! You need to like, pop it. Like, I can't do it, okay? So it's the same with like, even though I know that it's just hair, Ugh. they probably washed their hair this morning. It's probably clean. It's, it's not as gross as it seems, generally speaking. It's not like I ate it. It was just sitting on top of rice. It wasn't even mixed in. I threw it out and it wasn't a big deal. Something about it, as I was eating it, I was so disgusted. I was so disgusted, I wanted to flow up the whole time and I regretted eating it after. Extra protein, don't say that to me. Extra protein, my ass. Your ass is extra protein. <laughs> oh my goodness. Narissa is very good at talking and um, making a conversation like that and expanding it to a point where it's just like, you don't need to explain like all of this. Just say you found hair, it was gross, you took it out, you still ate it, but you felt disgusted. That, that's all you could have said. But you know what? That's that's how you know you're, she's a very good streamer because she's able to continue the conversation going even if it just goes off up on a rail. What do you mean? So I've been traumatized. Um, I've been traumatized since that moment. Okay. All right, Tula. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready. I made a I made a reaction to this. I like a, like an hour long reaction to this uh, um, last week. So definitely check it out. Okay. Ready? Okay. Mm. Your word is. Sprinkle. Wait. Okay, I did not see this part in that in that. So this is actually new. Cool. I love sprinkles. Oh my god. Excuse me, I get caught in the water. Easy, easy, sprinkle. Sprinkle. S P R I N K L E. Sprinkle. This I remember. I didn't, I didn't never saw the sprinkle part. Refrigerator. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah. I just revelation. I'm thinking about the apples inside of the refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense. Okay. Listen. 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 Refrigerator. R. E. F. R. I D G A T O R Refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this your final answer? Would you like to use your lifeline? Refrigerator. Uh, final answer. Like I mentioned in my last in my last reaction, refrigerator is a very difficult word. Because when you think of fridge, you think of it as spelled as F R I D G E. Refrigerator is not spelled that way. Oh, what? There's no refrigerator. Yeah. Refrigerator. Yeah. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Refri what? I don't know. I don't know. Refrigerator. This is why English is so hard. Can we have uh, this as the official spelling though? I like refer to right. Right. There's animals in the fridge. You know, <laughs> kind of Dead animals. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. You put gators in your fridge, Fuo. Nice try, nice <laughs> try. Oh, no. yeah. If you live in Florida, you can find gators in your in your uh, in your toilet. Or snakes. Florida's a very weird place. Alright, Flo, ready? Bow, bow. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Hi scared. I'm not scared, I'm full! <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> oh, wow. Your word is. Affidavit. What is that? Can I get a definition? 
reaction, please? Like I said, in my last reaction, if you don't know what an affidavit is, that is a very good thing. A written statement confirmed by oath or affirmation for use as evidence in court. Could I get uh, in a sentence, please? Oh, my please. Oh, yes. Uh. I mean, to be also fair, affidavit doesn't mean you're, you know, you're guilty of anything. It's just, it's, it's just they want to use it as evidence in the court. But if you never have to say it, that means that you never have to be involved in any sort of court proceeding. You never have to be involved in anything in court, which is also a very good thing. You don't want to be involved in court unless it's something where, you know, you, you, um, something bad, bad happened to you and you want money as, you know, for like an accident or something from like a workplace or like a company who, you know, finds ways to, um, you know, cheapen out and accidents happen and you get money because you got injured, right? Other than that, you really don't want to ever hear the word affidavit in your life. I must get this affidavit signed before registering. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with amphibians. Uh... What? How? E. Oh, sorry, what was that? It's like the E. Are you saying E or A? It's A. <laughs> a. <laughs> a. <laughs> F. F. Alpha. 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 Is it an A? You can hear her brain working overdrive. You can definitely hear it. It's amazing. Both her and Mokoko, you could hear it when they were spelling out their words. You could hear their brains going like into overdrive. That I, I don't think they're used to thinking so much about goddamn words this, this much. Diva, is that how you say it? Could you say it again for me, please? Affidavit. Affidavit? David? Affidavit. Affidavit. David. Affidavit. David. 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 How do you spell Ethan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, affidavit. Could you say it once more, please? Affidavit. Could you say it slower once more, please? No! Spell it! <laughs> <laughs> I love Momoko so much. I really do. I love both of them. I love them so much. They're so adorable. They're so. They're so. Um, they're so pawn. They're just so. Uh, they give so much child one that's so great. There's a whole I've really, really got really two good entertainers. David. D. Alphabet. D, please. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's so wholesome, like god damn, that is so goddamn wholesome. Um it's not the right way to spell it, but it's like so so wholesome. Like ah oh, full moko. Oh, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> An F for final answer because you have no lifelines. And this is your last yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> An alpha David. Oh my God, that is funny. Mostly because of, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. It's like doxy, technically. <laughs> <laughs> yes, alpha David. Oh, wow. You think you don't know it? <laughs> it is I. <laughs> it is I. It is I. T. There we go. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, you were close. That was difficult. I yeah. was close, though. You're your side and that guys. deserves a star, but instead it's getting put away, huh? Bum, bum, bum.
first contestant is out officially. You know what that means? I have to shoot my gun. Girl, don't 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 act like you're sorry. You you want to use your gun. <laughs> I have this button, remember? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, cool. I right, wonder what does. Want to do the honors? Uh, uh, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Three, two, one, push it, push it, push it. Bye bye. Boing. <gasps> ball ball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much, the animation. I love it so much. It's so good. Oh. Amazing chest. Jesus Christ, that entire thing was like half the video, but like it's good. It's good. Like full full moko's so wholesome. Like holy cow. Oh, they're so wholesome. Amazing chest the head. Oh. One of these. The head is what I want. Oh, there are a couple elevators. I want amazing chests. Nah, he's 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 much cooler than Tialia. I'm not gonna lie. Where's my chest? Oh. I'll be honest. I did not see her at all. I did not see that that was a person. Oh my god, that is oh wow, wow, that is an amazing chest. All right. Wow. Her chest is bigger than my entire body. I think next C beat, if we have to make one. She'll that is really good. That's a really good artwork of Manin. Wow, look at that. God damn it, they're so talented. My god, such talented artists. Oh, what are they? Like, it's amazing. Well, it's not like Hollow Life finds them. People try to find Hollow Life. So I guess that's how they do it. Wow. To be a milk. <laughs> Before or after cereals, friendships are gonna end. People. Oh, we talk about uh, how how do you prepare cereal? Milk first or cereal first? Me personally, I do cereal first. I never really understood the concept of putting milk first and then the cereal. So it's just because it, it feels like you don't you don't then get the milk to soak into the cereal, right? I guess I can understand like you put the you pour the milk first and then the cereal and then you just have to push it down and it still works the same way. It just seems weird to me to put cereal uh, last, you know. It, it's it's I've always you done it where I you know pour the cereal first and then the milk. It, it, that seems more nat like the more natural way to do it because you don't only just do it with cereal. You do it with a lot of things, right? You pour water in. Like some people pour water, then pour ice. It makes them more of a you have more chances of a mess at that point. But some people put the ice in first, and then the water or whatever drink. Right? It's such a weird concept that like we see that and we're thinking like, oh wait, that that way is weird, but that's this way isn't. It's so, it's so weird, but it all depends on the person. We're gonna, uh, ironically, we're gonna end friendships right now. I am team. Putting milk first because I don't like when cereals get too uh, soft of milk. I, I mean, they eventually do, though. That's the thing. Like, it doesn't matter which you do first. I guess if you put milk first and then cereal, the chance of the cereal getting softer quicker is less, right? Like, you, there's more time with the cereal is much more harder. But you could do the same thing by... Pouring cereal first and then milk, it all just depends on how fast you eat the cereal, right? I guess the idea that it, it gets softer, um, you know, later when you put milk first and then cereal, I guess I can understand the logic. It's just, it's, it, it eventually all leads to the cereal becoming soft and soggy. So it's like, it's, it doesn't matter. It still ends up the same way. I like to keep my cereals crunchy. And so I add little by little cereals a little bit at the time. I see. So they're still crunchy when I eat them. And you guys are just wrong. <laughs> yeah. People who put and milk first are psychopaths. I don't think that. I, it, it just... 
it's just the way people are raised and pe how how people it's like it's the same way how like some people like to prepare food in certain ways you know um yeah I, I, I don't see that you know what you know what is psychotic to me french fries you pour the ketchup all around the french fries i don't get that make it to a, like a little puddle and then just dip get more ketchup you get more chances that more of the fries get into the ketchup god damn it subscribe and follow and friend and chatino and membership and everything i don't care my opinion is stronger than yours anyway it may be stronger doesn't mean it's correct i mean it's it's, it's still an opinion Every, everyone has an opinion on how like how they prefer to eat certain food you know uh, but that was fun. That was a lot of uh, moments where uh, they uh, where they showcase that the internet has broken a lot of people. Although <laughs> the full Moko stuff is still uh, pretty great. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next VTuber reaction. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.